commercial property that right now is. He's like, I wonder how he uh, got a hold of me. <laughs> uh, flip finder. That's how. If you are in the Rhino tribe, turn on your cameras. I want to see you guys on the big screen here. You don't buy any real estate, do you? Take care. No, not interested. <laughs> I'm on a work conference. Uh, sorry, do your thing. All right, we've got a giveaway here, guys. Bro, you're telling you're, you're telling me my own story. And Eddie and everybody, we want to say you guys are awesome. And if it goes a long time, guys, here's a tip. When you're making your calls, if, if it goes for a long time and uh, you're just not picking up, it's probably your caller ID. Jackie has, I don't know, um, Jeremy, how many how many caller IDs does Jackie have? Please leave your message for- In here, probably 15, 20, 30, that she rotates. So our callers are gonna rotate their caller IDs once every hour, once every hundred calls. So if you're feeling like, you know, I'm making these calls, I'm making these calls, but nobody's answering, um, it'll be because of the, uh, your caller ID is showing up as like uh, spam likely, or now I, I saw one yesterday, it said telemarketer. It literally said telemarketer. I was like, okay. All I've been doing, um, like I said, I have a, a commercial property that right now is in the process of being sold, um, we're in the uh, initial stages of that. So it, I kind of, like I said, I just take my time and, you know, whatever comes along, it's a sweet deal. I'll snap it up and I'll get it done. I love it. I, I love it. Do if I don't have the time. Yeah, I got it. Is this is this the best number for you then? Yeah, uh -huh. yep, sure is. 24-7. 24-7. Awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm just calling you on our office line here. I'll, I'll send you a text with my information. Uh, again, my name is Brent Daniels. Okay. I'm with Joe Homebuyer. And um, yeah, we come across really great, great opportunities uh, all over um, Maricopa, Pinal, Pima, all those things. Um, so... I don't know if you're right. just, are you just, are you just focused in that area? Are you just focused in Tucson? Just Tucson, yeah. I don't step out. Like I said, I do this um, at a comfortable pace. I'm not the energetic, enthusiastic go-getter. Build my <laughs> portfolio. I'm done with that. Yep. I can't sit on my ass at home and I have too many tools to let them sit and rust. I love it. Do you, do you have any problem child no. properties that you would um, consider an offer on? You know, something that, that uh, maybe has some wear and no, tear I, on it? No. Actually, I love those, but um, uh, Me too. everything I've got, I like I say, I buy it, I finish it off, and I just started to just started to, to save or keep the homes. Um, I was selling them off before, but uh, I'm keeping everything from here on out. I think awesome. turn them into uh, residual income. I love it. Yeah, you gotta you, leave something to my kids besides cash. That's it. You gotta get off the treadmill at some point, right? I mean, you you can flip and flip and flip and flip, but you gotta keep that. You gotta keep feeding that monster. At some point, you gotta keep them. Yeah. So yeah, I'm at that point. What is the? Uh, is it Gabriel or Gabe? What's what 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 do you prefer? It's Gabe, Gabriel, hey you, whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty open. What's the best email for you, uh, Gabe? Called a lot of things and uh, G M R. Yes, sir. Awesome, Gabe. Great, great talking to you. Thanks for spending some time with me. I will. Uh, I'll make sure that uh, if we come across anything in Tucson, I send it your way. Let me let me ask you this real quick before we get before we get off. What uh, are, are you buying multifamily down there too? We just smoked, uh, just sold a smoking sixplex down there this week, but we're we, we've uh, we've got a couple others that we've got our eyes on. I'm I'm open to looking at a, a multi. Okay. Uh, like I said, I don't bite off any more than I can chew. Sure. I bit off that commercial one, and you know it was all good, but damn it. it up a lot of my time. I yep. wasn't cool with that. Yeah. Maybe something. Uh, I mean, but that was over nine thousand square feet. Um, That's a huge project. But yeah, I'm open to it. I'm I'm open to it. If if you were to basically shoot me a shoot me an address and shoot me what it's going to cost me out of my pocket, I can give you a straight up answer real quick after I've seen it. Perfect. That's how we like doing business. Love it. All right, Gabe. Yeah. My name is Brent Thank Daniels, you, Joe Homebuyer. I'll uh, I'll be in touch. All right. All right. Thanks, Brent. Appreciate it. Have a good day. See ya. Bye. You bet. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how he, uh, he's like, I wonder how he uh, got a hold of me. <laughs> uh, flip finder. That's how. Guys, that was great. So he didn't want to sell his property, had some portfolio, but wanted to see if he wanted to buy some more. Sounds like he'd be, hey, Berg, that would be a great uh, cash buyer in that area, right? But we're off to a fast start, already have a cash buyer, and it was the first guy that picked up. It was interesting. It, it didn't sound like he got a lot of calls from after when he got off. He was like, uh, I don't know how they got my information. 
So that's really interesting. Well, yeah, we're just having fun here today. This is all about taking action. Don't just sit there and be voyeurs. Guys, if you are in the Rhino tribe, turn on your cameras. I wanna see you guys on the big screen here. I wanna see you behind me. Glenn's doing his thing. Everybody's doing his thing. Look at this, this is bananas. Hi, I was looking for um, the, the owner of a property off of Tucson? Uh, you got the wrong number, buddy. Oh. We're near that area. I am so sorry. Did do you own any property in this Tucson? Is a new number. Yeah, this is a new number, so you might have been trying to reach the old owner of this number. Yeah, 0935, right? Yeah, relatively new number to me, but yeah, you got the wrong person, so we'll let you do it, buddy. You don't buy any real estate, do you? Take care. No, not interested. <laughs> I'm on a work conference. Uh, sorry, do your thing. Get have a great day. <laughs> have a great Take day. Take care. You too. You gotta try what you can, you know? But guys, tone is everything. Tone is everything. Don't just sound bored. Don't just sound, uh, you know, like everybody else. You gotta have the energy. You gotta stand up. You gotta move around. You gotta do this thing. You gotta, you gotta have a fun and light tone. You gotta be likable and certain. Likeability and certainty. Likeability and certainty. It's absolutely critical when you're making calls and talking to strangers and, and, and anybody doing your lead follow-up, whatever it is. Maybe a VA is making these calls for you and you're just doing the lead follow-up. Likeable and certain. If you're likable and certain, people will stay on the phone with you. <laughs> Hello? Um, please leave a message oh, and have a wonderful she day. She got me with that. Bye-bye. She got me with that voicemail. But listen, every conversation, there's an opportunity, right? Every conversation, there's an opportunity to either add somebody to our database. Maybe it's somebody that has, um, has uh, some funds that they want to put into a project so that you can raise some funds from these. But you have to talk to people. The more people you talk to, the more opportunities you're going to find. It's just the absolute facts. And listen, that was 22 minutes on the dialer. I think I you know, the first call was maybe seven, eight minutes. The second call, I think it was on there for six minutes. Um, you're gonna have calls like that all day long. Imagine having calls like that all day long, talking to the property owner. Talking, and this is just, you know, they, they didn't wanna sell their properties, but there's questions beyond the questions. There's questions beyond the questions. When they say no, see what else they have. See what else is going on. When they tell you, no, I'm actually looking to buy more properties, that's how you find the diamonds in the rough. That's how you find the, the, the cash buyers that you send your deals to, all right? So I'm gonna jump in here. I'm gonna show you guys how I pulled these. Um, this is uh, Flip Finder. And what I did is I put in Pinal County and I put in uh, Pima County, which is this one. I did it uh, 2,000 square feet or below. Listen. 2,000 square feet or below, it's critical because that is bread and butter. Most fix and flippers, and that's where we're gonna get our biggest spreads are on the ugliest houses. The ugliest houses, you get the biggest spreads. So you go 2,000 square feet and below because that is, the, the rehab budget for that is digestible by for most uh, fix and flippers, right? Once it gets, starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger, especially here in our area, I mean, you're talking anywhere from $35 a square foot to $50 a square foot for you know, rehab, depending on if it's just cosmetic or if you're getting into you know, some roofs or some pools or some pool equipment or air conditioning or in your guys' area, you know, heat pumps and, uh, and all sorts of the furnaces and all the other stuff that people need in cold weather states. Not us, we don't need that stuff, but we do need air conditioning. We go 2,000 square feet, 2,000 square feet. We go year built is gonna be up to 1994. I want older properties. I want older properties. I want the properties that have some wear and tear on them. I want them to have some rust on them, right? I want them to, um, I, I want them to be dated, right? I want them, to, the interiors are just dated. They have, you know, the pop outs or they have weird flooring or the countertops or tile or whatever else. The, uh, the, the, the bathrooms, uh, tubs are pink or, or light, uh, uh, lime green or something crazy, right? And you see that throughout the country. And so I want these older properties. I want them to um, be owned for at least 10 years, right? The sale date of 10 years. Um, what else did I put in here? Nothing in here. And then this is, the, this is the key here. This is the difference between every other service, the prop streams, the batch and everything else is the AI scores, guys. This is it. An AI score right here. This is, um, I, I put it at 800 or higher. It goes to 1,000, but 800 or higher. They what the, what the AI score does is it takes all of the, um, the last 40 years of property sales data, right? They, they look at the uh, all the properties that sold for cash to investors. 
right? And then were flipped, right? That, so they were only owned for a short amount of time. They sold for significantly more. And then they look at all the property characteristics. I mean, all the, all the, um, the demographics of the, the person, and then they match it up. Okay, these prop, this is the property avatar. This is the person avatar. Squish it together, give it a score uh, between uh, zero and a thousand, and, and uh, essentially a thousand, and uh, say these are the most likely to sell. And they have found that this list is 15 times more likely to sell than just calling a random person. Hi, I was looking for Moses. It's Moses. Hi, Moses. My name is Brent Daniels. I know it's kind of random, but I was calling about a property I believe you own on Sycamore Avenue in Tucson? Yep. Yeah, I was just calling to see if you would consider an offer on that property. We're looking. Don't leave, don't leave. No, I'm, I'm not, it's not for sale. I'm gonna be giving it to my, my son-in-law. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you, do you have any other properties in the area? I love buying houses and I love buying them in Tucson and I'm just trying to reach out and see if anybody wants to sell me one today. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I have another property, but I mean, the, a nonprofit that I've been involved with for the last 19 years wants to get their hands on it. Okay. Are they, are they going to, are they going to buy it from you? Or is it just something that you're, you're giving out of the uh, kindness of your heart? No, they're buying. Okay. Got it. Is there a way that uh, maybe I could be a backup offer on it? Hello? <laughs> this would be hilarious if he puts me on hold for like 40 minutes. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Hey Moses, is yeah, there is there a way that I could is there a way that I could be a backup offer on that just in case? Um, I can write down your number. Okay. But I doubt it. I mean they've been renting it for leasing it for nineteen years. Yeah, I get it. It's just, you know yes. the ebb and flow of, you know, the finances of some non profits kind of, you know, it's you know, it gets goes all over the place and do you know what what's the uh address on it? And I'll at least shoot you something as a backup. I mean no uh no obligation. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Offers for five hundred and forty thousand. The other one's for five hundred and twenty thousand. Five hundred and twenty thousand dollars is for the, um, uh, a physician out of Mexico that really wants to get his hands on that okay. and his family. He wants to pay cash. Yeah. Yep. And they're calling me back on the floor. So you've got my number. You've got the address. I got gotcha. you. Thanks, Moses. Have a great, have a great weekend. Come on. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's just you gotta, you gotta pull and pull and pull and pull and just see what else you can get out of it. But if you use the tone and say that you love real estate and you have that conviction, people stay in the line. People just stay in the line. They're like, okay, well, maybe, you know. Um, that was, that was great. When they tell you no on the first one, um, you can swoop around and, and ask what else they have, right? You can ask what else, uh, do they have any land? Do they have any other properties? Oh no, I'm going to sell that to my son-in-law. Do you think we should probably call him back and see if the son-in-law bought the property? Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys for joining the action workshop. The first one of 2024, we've got an exciting, exciting amount of, uh, trainings like this throughout the year planned with the top, top, uh, uh people from around the country. So um, Jeremy's cuddling me. Uh, on behalf of the, the, the uh, Rhino Tribe team, Jackie and Jeremy and Chad and Luke and Eddie and everybody, we wanna say you guys are awesome. Keep your house clean, protect your health and increase your value to the world. You'll live an incredible life. We'll see ya.